Oh, look at this. We made it to the back entrance. Snap this guy. There's something so improvised and badass about the 38 revolver. I love it. Yeah, the next goal is to um, clear those little stores down the road. Maybe they have some good uh, carpentry books or something. What's in that place? I'll actually check that room. I think I haven't been in that room at all. Lumberjack shirt, pommel shirt. Again, I'm, I'd rather conserve my stamina instead of thick clothing. Before I come back late, I'm gonna place a mouse trap. Not sure if it actually makes sense to place them inside or outside. I'll place it outside. Can't place it at the window. Can't place it up here. Okay, it's two of them. That's a problem. If it goes bad, I can, I can hop the fence. I just need one of you to look at me. Come on, just one of you. Good at courthouse. That's probably just full of um, notes and papers and, and staplers and nothing in there. <laughs> so you got three nice, two nice shops in a bank. But a bank is pretty useless in terms of loot you can get there. Staircase leading up into some dangerous close combat area. Okay, three in the building. Holy fuck! me from the other side of the fence. Good as my nightstick. Yeah, still good condition. So later he's gonna break the door, so I have to might as well open the door for him. Did I hear a second set of zombies? 
grounds. Because the frequency of the doors getting bashed is more than one. Yeah, just wait for it to break. Screw that. Don't want to get flanked. Yeah, that's two sets of doors being banged. Okay. That's too dangerous now for me. Probably upstairs, somebody banging the door. Yeah, it has to be upstairs. But if I go upstairs, if those guys listen to me, they come out and I'm boxed in. Then I have to jump out of the window and probably break a leg or something to get out. So yeah, <clears throat> not sure if I should do that. I'll probably just go back into the police station and microwave some of that bacon. Probably two of them. The good thing is the one is attacking the door, which will take longer to break. Okay, that was lucky. So I'll kill this one and then go upstairs and clear, clear the upstairs place. There's still one on the door. Okay, I can probably take this one out in the meantime. Yeah, here's second set of doors banging. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm dealing with two groups. Ah, oh, shit. So I think that uh, items that are more broken actually... No, they don't have... They actually do lower damage because the nightstick had more damage output earlier. Switching to metal bar. The question is how many of those are behind that door. And if the guy out the breaches in, then I'm... Um... Yeah, I'll check the other doors first. Because I'm sort of boxed in right now here. Easy now. wonder if those two rooms are connected or not. This door is amazingly robust, I gotta mention. I think somebody's in here, I can hear it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm scared of opening the door because if it's two of them, then I just gotta run or something. Okay. Let's do this. Next room. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab a revolver. And I'll take the ammo. Probably experiment with it near a fence to see if I can kill a zombie and get away with it. Let's go back. That's more than one. escape roll. Here we go. You know, now try to figure out if that was a dumb idea or not. Just to see how many zombies like attract that got attracted to that shot. Because otherwise, if it's not attracting too many, I would really like to like use it in close combat in the house. It's really cool. Like you smack the zombie on the ground, you shoot him on the ground. Huh? It's actually not too bad. This is something so. Kinetic about it, like you smack this on the ground, one shot, bang, and it's over. It's such a handy little pistol, like a 38. I think it's a 38 revolver, is it? It's called M36. So I think also um, shots inside buildings uh, are more muffled than shots outside. So I'm not going to shoot this guy. A semi conquered desk, please. I should go back in and see if there's something inside. You have to take a tea bag, and we can make some nice tea with a kettle. And first, okay, you know, some civilization, some role playing, gotta do that. What do we have here? Do we have actually have some type of oven we can put the... I can see if I do that. Um, an empty kettle. Oh, it actually has a metal kettle sound, not just a water bottle sound. That's really nice. Uh, let me see. Kettle of water. I should be able to make a tea with the, that thing. We have to make it boil first. Thank you. I might not even work on that. No, it probably won't work. So it's not some super amazing zombie slaying action, but I really want to know if I can actually heat that water. Look at this, we made it to the back entrance. It's 
snipe this guy. There's something so improvised and badass about a 38 revolver. <laughs> I love it. And I built some confidence. I know I can actually use those guns in, in close range or in a house without the whole thing coming down on me. Okay, now let's try to get a kettle of water burning. I think the kettle of water actually had a different icon on it, didn't it? What the hell? Oh shit. Oh, that building's probably. Yeah, I'm not I'm trying to try to fix that right now. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go back to the police station, eat, eat a piece of cake or something, <laughs> and hide in there. I should actually perhaps carry that shotgun from earlier. However, use it only indoors. See that van I prepared in the first episode? I left the key in this full tank. Everything's running on this thing. But just for the sake of having like an outdoor base or like some farmhouse outside of the city, drive there, fortify it, and go into the city, loot runs. Okay, made it back into the police station. Our safe place. I actually have a couch in this place to sleep in. I should get a couch somewhere. I could actually try to sleep in the car. Made the pork chop. Yeah, I got a good gun, so yeah, I should probably read the cooking book. Then have my character sleep a bit. I should perhaps um, drag a couch from a nearby building and put it in the armory, because it's really deep in the place and it's safe. Okay, now let's read that book. And now we go to sleep.